Hey, kindergarten friends. So for this assignment, we're going to talk about the story we've been reading called Brave Irene. Brave Irene. And we're just going to review a little bit of the book and talk about the main events, the big things that happen in the story. Because Irene does a lot of stuff in this story. But there's a few main events, a few big things that happen in the story, and we're going to talk about those today. Okay. So we're gonna identify the major events from Brave Irene. So a major event is something very important that happens. A big, it's gotta be a big deal to be considered a major event. So a very important thing that happens would be a major event. So the first major event in our story would be, <clears throat> excuse me, the first major event would be that Irene's mom gets sick. Irene's mom gets sick and Irene has to take the gown to the ball for her mom. So Irene's mom gets sick, so Irene has to take the gown. So this would be the first major event. Okay, so that's what this says. Irene's mother is sick and Irene prepares to take the dress to the palace. So that's our first major event, our first big thing that happens. The next major event is lots of things. We see lots of pictures here, but the biggest thing is that Irene is stuck in the snow. She gets caught in a snowstorm. That is what these pictures show us. So that would be our next major event. Irene battled the wind and snow. She got buried in the snow. She pulled herself out and she slid down the hill on a box. So there's a lot of major events that happen in the middle of the story. Several different things happen to Irene in the middle of our story, friends. And that's what this chart is telling us. The last major events that happen in the story is she finds the dress. She's able to deliver it to the party as these pictures show. And then she's able to get a ride home in a carriage. So these are the last big major things that happen in the story. So these pictures are showing us, like right here in our chart, where it will go, the last major events of the story. So Irene finds the dress on the tree, takes the dress to the Duchess, and she gets a sleigh ride home, which is exactly what we said we see in these pictures. These pictures can show us, without us even having to read, what happens in the story. They show you the big major events. The pictures on the page show us this, the words can tell us by us reading it, but the pictures also show us what the major events are. Now let's think, how did the snowy and windy weather affect Irene? How did those things affect Irene? Well, as our chart tells us, she had to work really hard to make it to the palace. She kept going even though the wind and snow were challenging. As we were looking at those pictures, she was in a lot of trouble out there in the snow, but she kept working. She had to work extra hard. So we have completed our chart as we talked about the illustrations in the story of Brave Irene. Now we're gonna talk about these elements of the story, the main events again tomorrow, but for today, this is all you gotta do for modules. You just gotta watch this video and you don't have any other work to complete, just this. So make sure you get your skills block assignments done on Canvas, friends.